How's it going guys? Patriarch Cigar Page back at it again with another video. Today's video is going to be about seasoning a humidor. Um, if you guys are going to become cigar smokers and you're going to want to collect some cigars, you're going to need a humidor guys. You're going to need one to keep your cigars nice and safe. And um, you need to season it before you use it. Some people just throw cigars in there and their cigars dry out and it's because they don't season it. So this is just a video to show you guys how to season a humidor, uh, two different ways of doing it, and uh, hopefully this is, uh, this information helps you guys. So let's get into it, guys. The first thing you're going to want to do is calibrate your hygrometer right there. So this hygrometer actually pops off, so it's going to be pointless if I take this off, I season it, and then all the humidity leaks out of that hole when I close it. So make sure you calibrate this. I'll be making a video on how to calibrate it soon. It's, it's pretty simple, guys. You only need a couple of items to uh, calibrate that. So make sure you calibrate that. Or just get you guys a digital hygrometer. It works so much better. So uh, first step you're going to want to do is check your humidor. Make sure it's nice and clean. And then pour your distilled water. Make sure it's only distilled water, guys. Do not use regular water. Distilled water is the way to go. You're going to want to pour your distilled water inside the Tupperware. Dip your sponge inside the distilled water. Make sure you don't over wet it because you don't want puddles inside your humidor. That's really bad. And guys, I apologize for the shaking. I'm actually recording this with one hand and trying to um, wipe it down with another. So uh, bear with me, guys. So let me switch hands here, guys. So you're going to want to wipe it down. You're going to want to see that color change there, guys. You're going to want to see that. That means that it is wet enough. And like I said earlier, do not over wet it to where you got puddles out here on the corners. That's really bad. You can actually warp the cedar in here. So just wipe it down the whole surface on the inside. Make sure you wipe the top. Make sure you get everything. Wipe it down. Close it. Let it sit for a couple hours. And wipe it down again, guys. This is a tedious process. You got to do it more than once if you want to do it right. And then after you season it, um, you're going to want to uh, dip your um, sponge inside the still water. Again, squeeze out the rest. Oh, sorry. Making a mess there, guys. Hopefully the in-law don't get mad at me. So wet your sponge. Get your Ziploc bag. Lay it on the inside and let it sit. Close it, leave it overnight. What this is gonna do is the cedar is gonna absorb all the moisture from the sponge overnight. And then the cedar's gonna get all the moisture it needs from all the, from the distilled water. Another method you could do, you could actually do both if you like, um, is fill your shot glass with distilled water and just leave it there. Close it, let it sit overnight. Um, it's, you just want, you wanna make sure that that uh, cedar absorbs as much humidity as it can because you don't want to stick your uh, cigars in there and then in a month they're dried out because the cedar absorbed all the humidity. And usually that's it. For me, it took about two days to season my humidor well. You don't want to put your cigars in there and then have to take them back out and season it all over again. So make sure you take your time. Don't rush into it, guys. It'll t it's going to take two days, maybe three days, depending on everything. But that's as simple as that, guys. You could always get your Boveda humidification um, packs, which help with the humidif uh, humidification of your humidor. You could do that. It's a lot simpler. All you do is literally just throw it in there, and it does the, all the work for you. But um, this is pretty simple to me, guys, and it's pretty cheap. You don't got to worry about buying a bunch of stuff online. Distilled water costs about like a dollar. Sponge, you can find one laying around that's new. And I mean... Everybody's got shot glasses because, you know, everybody likes to drink on the weekends. So it's pretty simple, guys. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Soon I'll be making the video of how I calibrate your hygrometer. I might upload it today. All depends on how long it takes for me to edit because I'm new to this. So just let me know what you guys think about this video, guys. I hope you guys have a blessed day and be safe.